How has this life, this pandemic life, affected you? Have you wrestled hard with restrictions and confinement? Or have you found it a strange relief from the relentless life that went on before? Or are you like me, beginning to find unexpected, unnerving feelings bubbling to the surface as you go about the business of trying to live life? Good morning. It is an early morning. Well, early for us at the moment. It's freezing cold. Um, probably for um, for the last couple of weeks, um, I, Chris has left the mountain. I'm actually going to leave the mountain for the first time. I'm going to drive off and go. We're going to go and look at a house and see whether it's something we might want to have as a base on land um, with everything that's happened. We just think that um, we need somewhere to be a base. Whether it works out or not, we don't know, but we're going we're going out for the day. We're leaving the mountain. And I have to say, um, I'm actually quite scared. I think um, being up here, sort of up above the world, has felt very safe and very um, out of the way. And like, okay, you can shut out what's going on in the world below. Um, and we, just getting used to the rules and how you live here and um, so yeah I'm a little bit scared and I am shocked actually at, at the, the strength of feeling that I've got inside of me because I'm not normally like that I'm like go out and explore and whatever so hmm, interesting point in life I didn't expect to feel like that but hey ho we'll see we'll see what happens on the way as the new year got underway, amidst the challenge of travel restrictions and COVID numbers increasing, we headed to an area in Portugal, two hours south from where we were staying, to look at a house, a house we could buy. Having a place to call our own had always been part of our long-term plan once travelling was over. However, circumstances had redefined the timings of the plan. Day out, and we are now in a completely different part of Portugal. Um, and behind me is the house that we've come to have a look at. Um, Very interesting. We're just waiting for the estate agent who's uh, late <laughs> and we've already had issues with the dog. He's been very good in the car but he's restless and it's like somewhere for him to go and um, we've got him on like a makeshift lead at the minute until we can get one and he's already taken off up through the village so Chris has followed him through the village. He's not in very good books at the minute. So here he is, look. When we first met, Chris had talked about his desire to build his own house. And now here in Portugal, the opportunity to buy a house with land presented itself. The first house we looked at had lots of potential, but our hearts were strangely drawn back to the mountain. We are in an incredibly privileged position because we are halfway up a mountain and there's many days when the cloud comes or and and you can't see the world down below or like today you're up above and you're looking out over something so you can feel s incredibly safe you, um and you feel okay for now i'm just going to hibernate here but the challenge with that is that at some point you have to go out into the world and i have been quite shocked at how much I am nervous about doing that because um, things beyond my control have changed. Covid is really beyond my control. The um, the UK, no longer part of the EU, is is beyond my understanding. So um, I found that quite hard. So our plans to buy somewhere kind of have evolved quickly over the last couple of months, and. Um, and we've just been looking and seeing, you know, could we could we find somewhere here that's a base? This is going to be our home and our base 
for now because it does give us access to the to the EU in in us in some form and that's that's our goal and um, we've fallen in love with the mountain we've fallen in love with these people here we've fallen in love with the nature that's here and um, and the wild that's here and it's it's one of those where you sit and you think so what can we do how, how do we how do we champion this because it is special there are so many things here that are incredibly special. There are woods here. There are cedar woods here um, that a friend showed us. And it's like, oh my goodness, for forest bathing and for connecting to nature and for mental health and for well-being and for your um, physical health to go and spend time in a cedar wood. And it's just here. And um, yeah, it's like, wow. So... This place is really beautiful and I think that we want, hopefully, to stay. So we began to search in the village we'd been living. Oh. One house, suggested by our neighbour, presented itself as a very strong possibility and we were hopeful. But the asking price gave us a clear indication that the owner was not serious about selling. And we left disappointed. So began a concerted effort by many in the village to find us a house. We were shown several other possibilities, but many sadly required major construction work to make them habitable. We needed something we could live in and work on at the same time. We used a local estate agent to view two houses officially for sale. And it was during these viewings that she offered us another option we could consider in a village close by. But that looks like a chicken run to me. What? Did you want to summer it? So, we've just had a look round the farm behind me. I think out of anything that we've seen, this is the one with the most potential. Although, it is going to require quite a lot of work. I think now the reality of it I think to do it justice, it's going to require a lot of work, uh, money, but then I think it's got the potential to be utterly amazing. And so begins a new story. The story of life on a small farm 
on the top of a mountain in the middle of central Portugal. If you enjoy the stories that this channel tells, then please do subscribe and join along. It would be lovely to have you. Click the bell to be notified when a new story is released and don't forget to give a like before you leave. Goodbye.